pressure. Heels together now. Driver straight up, flick, grab it. We've been making changes. The routine has been evolving since we first learned it. And uh, every practice we try it to give them a little bit more and a little bit more. We are just running the routine and getting ready for our first competition. Our routine was way too long, so we had to shrink it, take some counts out. But we haven't really had time to do anything full out yet, and that's what we're doing these practices now. Our first competition is away, so I hope that I'm ready to compete with them. Do I feel like they're ready? No. I don't think we'll ever feel like we're ready, but you know, they have to go out there at some point and put something out. And totally stop in front of a crowd. We don't really know how the team functions and what it is that they're going to be capable of. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five. Not bad. Tally is working out with us today, and she, I like having her. She has like really different ways to like coach and like teach different like techniques. My name is Callie Seitzer, and I'm from LA. I've done all aspects of the sport all the way from basically when I was 12 years old. So I was in All Stars a long time ago, and then I did college, and I was on Team USA for stunting. She is one of the top flyers in the country um, in the sport. So it's cool for the kids to have somebody like her to walk in and be able to give them critiques. In the, just the heel stretch, just lock your quad, lift, right? In this industry, a lot of the head coaches in the country are just predominantly male. And she is a tough female coach. And I think it's important for our females on the team to see that and be able to experience that and hear that voice. Hey, look. Having like different coaches come in, I feel like is really good for us because we get a different coaching experience. It's not the same thing every day. So you got to get underneath it, and you're you're kind of tall. What, yeah, you're. It's it's gonna handstand over you. I've been coached by Eddie since I was like eight, and being coached by another coach is. Sometimes it's a little liberating because it's good for us. You know, I coach these kids day in, day out, and to bring another voice like this, especially a well-respected voice that brings a lot of value to what she's saying, uh, it's a breath of fresh air for me. And set up your partner's stunts when you're done. Sally's gonna help our boys. Let's go, sharpest person gets a dollar. Okay, let me just see this one time all together, and then we'll see what we need to do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Woo! Okay. Guys, listen real quick. When you're grabbing a girl, okay, you don't pick her up, you don't drop her down. She does all of that. You're making your job 10 times harder than what it really is, okay? So think about that right now. We're working on partner stunts. We're trying to like get it to ill stretch, get it to lib. We began working on ball up to lib, and I've never done them before. Okay. Girls, do you feel controlled at the beginning of that? I need to know, be honest. Let's go, speak up, come on, have a conversation. What do you feel? All right, fine, I'll jump on. Throw me, throw me. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, good, yours is good. Callie actually jumped in on the partner stunts and actually put herself in the boy's hands and made us throw her. One, two, nope, you're pushing me. Charlie is helping us with our partner stand. Kind of like we're relearning how to do it. Didn't know you are throwing me today, did you guys? Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. More aggressive. You're too weak. I've been a flyer for a long time, um, so it's really easy to read how they're holding it and if they understand how to hold it correctly when they're in the air and to relay it in a way that that athlete understands it. Believe me, I, I know how to do this, so I'm not just telling you what to do. I actually know what, what's going on. Girls! You need to be, you need, you guys need to talk. You need to have a conversation. Because the more communication you have between your partner, the better you're gonna get, okay? That's how partners work. So being a flyer, you have to have a lot of dedication. You need to know everything that your coach is telling you to do in the air. You need to know everything. So also you can help your bases when tossing you. It's really important for the girls on top to get that voice and be able to get the corrections because they know that she can relate to what they're, they're feeling going through in the air. Seven and one, up, two, three, four, and five, go. Seven and one, two, dip, three, up, five, up, six, seven, pull, hold. All right, cool, and sponge down. Uh, we just learned at the end of the last one. Yeah? 
Last practice, um, we started working on our new pyramid that we are upgrading. And we're, there's just a lot of transitions, a lot of flipping everywhere. That switch of the group, where they like throw her to the other group. It's a hot mess. Yeah. She's, She's like dying. Like, bringing her feet apart, trying to get. Yeah, she looks like a dead fish. Um, set up from the stomach, doing the front flip through to the high high. And five, six, seven, grabbing one, two, dip three, flipping five, pressing seven, out one. Good, push it. Get Lock your arms, it. stand up, everybody. It's gonna be one eight count of your life. I'm sorry, but it's gonna suck for a little bit, but you'll be fine. Squeeze. Just tell your boyfriend that. I don't know what to tell him. You got attacked by a vampire. Up and up. We're supposed to do full out, but it's about maybe the sixth or seventh time we change our pyramid. We just learned it the other day, so we're just making everything perfect and making sure we're all looking the same, so we look as a team. Grab on three, four, move five, dip seven, hit one. That was your one, you missed it. We're sitting there in the spot, taking the drop on the back spot. Let's go. It's right there. Let's try it again. I'm stressing because we have everything. We just need to finish a pyramid. If this hitch comes down again, we're gonna go straight up instead of pull up, okay? Come on, make it happen, you can do it. And we just don't have time. One, two, three, center, five, going seven, and one, up, two, three, four, clean, five, Lock press out. seven, and. We had to like come down and like, right when we came down, we had to dip again. And like, it was just like really fast. And like, so we were hitting it before he changed the counts to faster counts, but like lately hasn't been hitting. So it's like really hard. Lock. Hold it, get up, get up, get up, push, 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 grab a grip, stop making up grips. Guys, she's still coming apart at the bottom for that pull up. That's tiny things, come on. Squeeze her feet together, don't let that come apart in the smush, okay? And from the top of the pyramid, from the transition, all the way through, and straight hitches right now. Let's go, five and seven, go. One and center, three and four. Get in the middle. Five. Go seven, hit, lock, two, three, go. Five, seven, and eight, one, two, hands three, good shape. One, two, three, four, and five, get good. Seven, up on one, two, three, four, up, five. It's a stretch on one. That's the first time we've actually done that. Really? Yeah, wow. I'm telling you, we just, they learned this end of the pyramid last practice. That's awesome. I'm landing a pyramid before comes a little nervous, but I feel like with this team, the way we all motivate each other and push through with each other, uh, our pyramid should come along well at our first comp. Two, right versus left. Split the formation. Yeah? All right, let's do it. Right versus left. Eddie could see in people's faces they were just getting like bored and tired. And so Callie and Eddie incorporated a game. Whoever stayed in the air, they got a point. And if your stunts didn't stay in the air, then you didn't get a point. And the terms are, if you lose, you have to do an eight count of freestyle dance. And if you choose not to dance, then you do conditioning instead. So you have to be wild and crazy for an eight count. If you're shy, you better pretend not to be shy for eight counts. Here we go. No, you can't practice. Get set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that's such a good toss, too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, five, six, seven. Zero to zero. Oh. Ready! I feel like you want to dance. This isn't supposed to be a fun thing. You're supposed to be embarrassed. <laughs> it's important for the kids to start feeling that competitive edge and be able to compete with each other at practice. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, one. Yeah. Tiebreaker. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This group, let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. For them to just take a mental break and just have a dance party or you know just joke around for like five minutes is important just to kind of break it up and cut the tension you guys really really good practice awesome job with the pyramid 
Um, Sunday we go back to run throughs to jump cry, okay? Or bark. Or pass out. Or pass out. Or fall. I said Sunday we go back to run throughs. Awesome job today. I'm so proud of you. I cried. Overall, the kids had a great practice. We have our first championship next weekend. We need to get them out there. And if they're not 100% ready, then they're not 100% ready. And we need to figure out what they can and can't handle at this point in the season. Thanks guys for watching Cheerleaders and don't forget to subscribe to Awesomeness TV.